Well, we just had a chance to talk to Javon. What have you seen from him through two games that he's been able to bring in this defense? Um, Javon definitely someone you can look at as a leader. Um, you know, small guy, but he plays like he's 6'3". So having Javon on the field with me is confident, but very good at the same time. You know, he brings the energy. He's powerful. Um, he brings it every day in practice, and he sees it throughout the games. What does that do for this defense to have a guy, like you said, he's not the biggest guy, but for him not to let that slow him down? Oh, it makes it easier. You know, um, <laughs> someone thinking that's a weakling on defense, it's really not. Um, so to go at him and think it's not a, a weakling, it's pretty good because uh, – it balanced our defense out very well. Jamon, what are the challenges that South Carolina's passing offense presents for you as a middle linebacker with the way you like to spread the field and everything? Um, not really too many challenges. I mean, even though South Carolina's a great team, um, have a great quarterback, um, have great players, it's not really – it's a challenge that we're willing to accept, but also not because, you know, at backer at University of Georgia, we most likely can do everything that you want a linebacker to do, pass, cover, run, play the run, anything like that. So, I don't think – a bit challenge. What have you learned in your first two starts? We heard Kirby talk so much about just the inexperience of that position. What have you learned now being a starter for Georgia for two games? Uh, can you say it again? Yeah, just what have you learned in terms of, you know, seeing a game, experiencing things in your first two starts now, now that you have them under your belt? Um, playing, playing linebacker at Georgia is uh, very hard to do. Um, but as the week goes on, you know, practice make it easier to uh, for Saturdays. Um, so... That's it. Are you familiar with uh, EJ Leitchie's story? And I'm assuming you are. And, and can you talk, speak to a little bit what what it's like to see him out there on the field, you know, just back playing football and trying to learn the position? Just like oh, yeah. EJ, he's a hard worker. Um, matter of fact, it's, I, it's actually like the, the incident never happened. Um, he's fast. He flashed throughout camp as if you heard any other coach that says it. Um, he flashes. He's fast, physical. He's smart, just like any other linebacker in the court, you know. But I'm proud to see him, you know, keep stepping up and evolving. You got to see a little bit of uh, Ty Key on Saturday and had a chance to talk to him after the game. What do you? What have you seen from him, especially as he's getting more comfortable after that injury last year? Uh, Ty Key is definitely uh, a player that we can count on um, coming in the game, uh, playing star. And just like I said about Bullard, like <laughs> – People think our small DBs is our weak link. <laughs> they're they're really not. Um, Taiki is one of the probably physical player on our team. Comes up making hits, um, can cover, play star. You know, second year in the defense, so he's very confident in what we can do. And um, pretty much that's it. What have you uh, to to this point in your career? What what has been the most difficult kind of uh, from a noise standpoint and the crowd affecting things? What's been the the, the most intense environment you've played in so far? What have you heard about? Playing over at Williams Rice and white towels and sandstorm and all that kind of stuff that goes. Um, you know, throughout practice, you know, we uh, you know, we practice that kind of thing. You know, we have noise control and um, he blasts it uh throughout the week. So uh, you know, we get used to it throughout the week. And by the time Saturday comes, you know, it we really get used to the noise. But uh, I heard about that um, about the stadium being loud. But you know, we we practice it throughout the week, so it shouldn't be a really a big challenge to us. But we'll be ready for it. We had a chance to talk to Smile yesterday. What uh, have you seen from him for through his first two starts this year? Um, smile. What I've seen from Smile, um, you know, big, fast, physical. Smile, six three linebacker. Uh, front sideline to sideline, smart. Um, you know, we have chemistry since we played together. Uh, this is our second year. Came in at the same time. Uh, so I feel like you know we're very confident with each other. We have chemistry. We built it up since last year. Um, rocking with the twos. Now we're uh, you know. Once now, or whatever people say, um, but you know what I see in Smile is a smart linebacker that going to do big things in the future. Javon was talking a little bit about the adverse situations that the coaches have put y'all in practice every day. How does that help when y'all get to a game having done that practice already? I mean, practice makes the game easier. So you make practice harder. Saturday should be easier. Um, yeah, like you said, they put us in tough things that we won't even see in the game, but. You know, but if it do happen in the game, we prepare for it because we already did it in practice. What are some situations that you've never seen in the game dealt in? Um, some certain, um, you know, film study, you know, they might see, uh, think that what they're going to do, but they never did it before. Um, like one thing, I mean, like the crowd noise, they do that. They uh, 
turn it way up. They blast it and, um, indoor. <laughs> we can't even hear our own self talk. So things like that. What are you seeing so far to Jalen Walker? Jalen Walker. <laughs> Jalen Walker doing big things. You know, Jalen Walker probably one of the fastest people on our defense right now. Um, coming in, you know, we move him in and out. Uh, but, you know, he's very a physical player, smart player, you know. I mean, we really like all the same in the linebacker room. Everyone big, smart, fast, but he probably one of the fastest. What do you see from Chris Smith so far this year? Chris Smith? Yeah. Oh, it's Chris Smith. <laughs> I've seen Chris. Uh, I'm really seeing a leader, uh, a more vocal guy from last year to this year. More leader guy, more uh, stepping up, more taking responsibility people, uh, more vocal, uh, making more plays, um, being happy for the young guys. You know, this is his last year here. So, you know, I, I see him being happy for the young guy, coaching them up, preparing them to be better for next year, and um, really just being a leader and um, being, that, being that guy that we can count on. Coach Farm talked a little bit about just the energy at practice this week, getting ready for Saturday. What's that been like as a player, knowing you guys are a few days away from the first SEC game? In the week? Oh yeah, that's what we've been focusing on. Um, really, this our open the game um, for the SEC. So you know, we got to open this game and leave our mark on the um, league. And uh, this is a very important week because, like you said, it's an opener. Were you uh, South Carolina? Group? Groups up in your area. Was that a school that uh, went after you pretty hard? Did you have any interactions with South Carolina? Um, yeah, they recruited me, but not really. What are you gonna remember about the South Carolina game last year? You made like that key snaps, but you know maybe later in the game. Do you remember? You know, obviously they were rushing attack last year. They're gonna stretch the field this year. Is there a difference you've seen on tape? Um, now that they have a uh, uh, different quarterbacks. Um, not really. I've seen, we've seen some of the same things, uh, but not too much, not too much that, that they went away from. Any more questions? Thank you. Okay, thank you.